My boot just get flatter and flatter. As I get fatter and fatter, my butt get fatter and fatter. I still got a little wild boot. You know, wild, 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 I wasn't even coming live, but I have to um, <laughs> address something oh, real quick. All right, so if y'all haven't been paying attention to my last post, um, I'll go through it real, real quickly, briefly, but I want to know, I want to try to understand what's going on. So I am sitting here, <laughs> y'all know how I am, like don't give me something to dig for, <laughs> or I'm going to dig. Don't give me something I to dig for. So, for the mother and the owner of the business, she could just... She could have just been, just been quiet. Just been quiet. But she didn't. She decided to address the issues at hand by sending me a message with basically a name and a number. So by sending this to me, you're inviting me to the tea party. And I'm going to sell. So this is where your mistake lies. Head not for but for. You can't ever make me look stupid because I'm all good. I'm going to just dig for it. So this is the part that was kind of crazy to me when she commented on the post. And this is what she said. She said, Hold on, hold on. All those fake reviews came from yesterday when I was being attacked, and you know that. I don't know nothing. However, I did make a statement saying, in my personal opinion, you are innocent, right along with many other people's. But if you feel the need to attack my company, I'm not mad at you. This is your job. You're a blogger. However, you have a blessed day, sir. Well, so, ma'am, you have a blessed day. This is not attacking, <laughs> in case you haven't know what my attack looked like. And I'm sorry, Divine Hell Rice, I like you, but my attacking ain't what you want, sis. If I was going to attack you, you would feel it in your, you would feel in your, in your, your umdubla ablangada. You would feel it in your spine if I attack you. I'm not attacking you, but I'm just saying, don't invite me to the tea party and expect me not to sip. I'm going to sip. And so when you see me this, and you see me this a farm employee, I'm going to go try to find her. I want to go try to find the number. And, but what I was finding was the things that I was finding, which was this. <laughs> Which was that you actually used the girl, the same girl you used the catfish Lou was used in your advertisement, your company. This is factual stuff as of six days ago. Now, so I mean, you can possibly say that oh, it was the other employee, it was the phantom employee Yolanda that doesn't exist, and the number that the number correlates back to what could potentially be sometimes somebody's law office. It's a general name of Yolanda Harris. There's probably a million Yolanda Harris's in the world. Um, I tried to, um, so I'm, I was in the process of trying to look for Yolanda Harris in, in, uh, in Ho Ohio. The number, like I said, goes back to a law office. Uh, and it, um, perhaps a law office. It's all kind of weird. But it's just like you're making it. See, what happened is, if you see what I, so I don't know what at that part, but it's kind of like you could just be quiet. Don't say nothing, and you got to just, cause sister, it's gonna be some digging, especially when you send me stuff talking about, oh, it was this bitch, oh, well, it's, who is this bitch? But, it all leading back to you. So this is, so it's now looking like Super was right. Y'all orchestrated this, it's looking like she was right on this end. Y'all orchestrated this to build y'all whatever, but unfortunately, if 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 not for her, if not for her fiance, <laughs> duh, being part of it, y'all don't have this to do. And so then the digging comes from her. This is the next thing. She <laughs> bow. People looking on her page now and saying, "Hold up." 
that's my cousin. Let me bring, can I bring it up on this? No, I can't. That's on my other phone. All right, so <laughs> man, that's my cousin here. This is my cousin stuff. This my this this wait. This pictures are stolen for me. Hold up. This is my other people. So if you're looking for it's like whoa, more and more stuff is coming out. <laughs> they say they all they don't accept Lou. Okay. <laughs> well, obviously, poor Lou. <laughs> it's not poor Lou because Lou should just say, you know what? I ain't even, you know, <laughs> I'm not even going. Lou should just been, you know what? Let me just get off these people's internet. This ain't my, this ain't my internet. <laughs> I don't want to be on it. <laughs> That's what Lou should have just did. Lou should have just been like, I, look, this ain't my internet. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever this internet fuck up, get your internet. I need to just cancel. Lou should have just called Sprint or whoever he got and said, Listen, cancel my data plan. I need talking text, <laughs> but the data plan, go ahead and cancel it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know. This is just getting literally weirder and weirder. And weirder by the second, my people. So who did he meet with? I'm not sure. I'm, at this point, I'm not sure he met with anyone. Maybe he met with Yolanda. Or maybe it was the butler with the candle in the in, in the parlor, bitch. I don't know. It's like this is just getting. This is it's like. And you know it's a messy Monday, so you know we ain't got nothing to do, girl. We quarantine, you know, we everybody quarantine and stuff like that, and we just we ain't got nothing to do. So, bitch, it's like. You know, <laughs> so we in. It. I mean, we, we in it now, bitch. <laughs> we in it now. <laughs> we we in now. Y'all invite us to the tea party, bitch. We gonna sell. I mean, girl, this is a game of clue, bitch. We try to figure out too. But listen, and so I mean, I'm just being truthful. I think, unfortunately, and I would have to. I hate to admit this, but I think half of half of Bell Pepper is actually right. They orchestrated this for the particular purpose of this. At first, you're thinking it might have been some other foolishness, but they, they might have orchestrated this from the get go to try to get themselves some notoriety. <laughs> the butler in the candle with the parlor, bitch. Y'all remember that the, the game, too, bitch? <laughs> it was it was the inspector in the attic with the candlestick, <laughs> girl. What? Somebody said that. We need more clues, okay? What is this blues clues, bitch? What the fuck are we doing? What is going on? I'm trying to look up, bitch. This is, this is really a game of clue, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch, this is like, bitch. <laughs> I remember that fucking... Wait, it's fine. I don't know what you mean. I might have all of that, bitch. Just... It was... <laughs> bitch, clue. It was in the study. With the knife. And it was the wife. <laughs> Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> so, so right now, so right now, our clues are telling us it was the mom on the internet with the fake page. That's what. That's. <laughs> that's what we. That's what we. So <laughs> it's, it was the. <laughs> so at, you know, because no, at first it was the. <laughs> You, at first it was, so it was, so it, was, so it went with. It first it went with the daughter on OnlyFans with the video, to, to, the employee with the passwords on the social media. That's what it went to. But now it's looking like the mom in the. The mom on the internet with the hair. That's what it's looking like right now. <laughs> it's just, I, just, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's just, oh, so the quick, quick recap is the mother responded. She sent me a message directly to which I looked into, and then I just started looking into it. It's like whatever. So let me um, I must say this. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> this is certainly. <laughs> this is certain. <laughs> 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 Bitch, I'm having too much fun with this guy. <laughs> this is just too much. It's just a straight ass off mystery. <laughs> that's just that's just what it is. It's just that's all mystery. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Peace, peace, society. You here, girl? What's good, on, girl? <laughs> it's just a straight ass off mystery, sister. I just, I just, it's just what it is. This is what it is. I don't, I don't, I, I can honestly say, be honest with y'all. I'm just, I'm being real. I've always been really truthful with y'all. <laughs> I have not one clue what the fuck is going on here. I don't have not one clue. I don't have, I don't have not one clue. I don't know what. Sister, the more I find out about this foolishness, the more clueless I am. I don't know what the hell going on. Please, y'all can't ask me. I don't know. I, I can honestly, I'm just being real. I have not one clue what the hell is happening here. Not one clue. I don't have not one piece a shred of I don't know what I can't put it together I wish I could I swear to God I wish I could put it together for y'all I wish I could make it make sense for y'all I cannot I don't know I, I just I don't know it's an unsolved mystery I don't know what's happening I just I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm trying to put it I don't know <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just so many this is and that's and putting the fingers and I, I, I just don't <laughs> I wish I could tell y'all <laughs> the, the, the more the, <laughs> I'm sorry don't get quiet y'all job don't get quiet I, I just came on to just, just share that with y'all because tell my mom I'm not attacking you because if I was attacking you, I'm sure it's not what you're going on. <laughs> attacking you is not what you want. I'm just, I'm just shedding light on what was being said, and it's just kind of looking kind of crazy at this part on your behalf when all you had to do was shh, be quiet. That's all you had to do. Just be quiet. You, you prove your part. You set him up. Oh, I said not you. Somebody, so, Yolanda, <laughs> in the, Yolanda in the bedroom with the rope. Somebody set him up already. He fell for it. That's quite enough. Everything else, you don't have to do. You just be quiet. Just be quiet. If you set him up to get some notoriety, cool. He was texting to somebody who he thought to be a 17-year-old girl. If it was me behind the page, <laughs> it don't matter. It's, it's somebody. <laughs> it, 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 you know, they say super set him up. This is Tangible of New Orleans, okay? So I say call Matt like somebody, Perry Mason, somebody. Because I just, I don't know. I, I'm just the, the more I'm seeing, <laughs> loving hip hop, New Orleans girl. Mona Scott don't want make no money, girl. Mona Scott don't want. You could tell that. Girl, Mona Scott don't want make no money, girl. She ain't about no money. She to put that. If she wanted some money, girl, Mona Scott wanted some money, girl. She to put that in. Girl, loving hip hop, New Orleans. She should. Girl, she missed a whole. Girl, she missed all... 2019 was... Girl, from, from 20... She should... 20, you should have had the first season in 2018. She don't want to make no... I, I'm convinced. She don't want to make no money. She don't want to make no money. I'm sorry. I, I don't care what nobody say. Mona Scott ain't trying to make a dime. Girl, y'all can miss me with the bull. 
This <laughs> is what you call MacGyver. Bitch, somebody. Murder, she wrote. Girl, not Murder, she wrote, girl. Not Angela Lansbury, girl. <laughs> not, uh, not Murder, she wrote, girl. Not, not. <laughs> girl, not Murder, she wrote, girl. Bitch, I'm sorry, but girl. Mona Scott, though, girl. Shit, we need the loot interview, okay? This girl, they say Bonnie B. Jones, bitch. What? So, why put New Orleans on TV, girl? I don't know, girl. Shoot, girl. Because the girls, I don't care what a, uh, somebody say, bitch. Somebody will watch this. They watch it now. They watch it on Instagram, so they're watching on TV, bitch. Please, that's why. <laughs> That's why. If they go watch it, if they watch it on Instagram and watch it on TV, girl. Okay. So, all right. So, little brief recap, and then I'm out of here. I'm just done. I'm just done with it. I, cause I don't know. I just don't know what's going on. I am. I'm. I'm lost. I'm just as lost as y'all, y'all. I. I don't have no. I don't know what's going on, girl. This is just. This is just too much for TV. So, uh, a brief recap. So, the the mama said it was Yolanda. We looked for Yolanda, can't find Yolanda. We found the law office, girl. I don't have a case that needs to be. So I was like, well, girl, this ain't going to work. And then, um, so, uh, but come to find out the mama have used the same girl who used the catfish in advertisements before. And with people not looking up her page, they're starting to see some of her work as well as what she does as hair. And people are like, no, that's not her work. That's my cousin work. That's my people work. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Oh, she's taking him back. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no doubt in my mind. Ain't no, I, I told you, Luke will be back by Thanksgiving. Period. Okay, but come on, the sister, you know you have to actually come live, girl. You just gotta press the button, girl. <laughs> Don't let that go over your hands. Okay, that is something to say. That is something to say. It look like it's frozen. Um, you can hear me? You can see me? I can see, I can hear you, but I look frozen. I can't see you at all. It says connected. I hear you, though. All right. Let's, I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to sing another one. Okay. Before that, here we go by August 1st. <laughs> somebody, somebody's here like the asshole put up my heart. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's see. Come on, please, sweet sister. <laughs> What's going on, Sash? What's up? How you doing, my baby? What's up, Soul for Catering, girl? You ain't never seen me no food. Period. You said you was going to bring me some back that day. You sure ain't doing it. What's going on? I see you now, sister. What's going on? What's going on? I, I, need, I, I need to tell y'all followers something. It's all jokes and funny, but I got I to gotta tell y'all followers something. Talk to I, I, um, I distinctly remember I was posting, you know, so in love. You know what I'm saying? After giving a second chance. Right. And who was completely embarrassing me. Right. Embarrassing me. With somebody who didn't care about him or didn't care about me. Right. Let me tell y'all something. It's all jokes and funny. But half of us been embarrassed just like this girl. That is embarrassing. <laughs> and before we sit up here and laugh and joke, not shake our right, I don't expect nothing no different from you. But I'm talking about women who have been walking a mile in this girl's shoes who ain't got the fame or the notoriety to get embarrassed like this girl. At the end of the day, we be out here loving dudes who sleeping with our cousin, our best friend, and coming to the family reunion, and they both sitting up there and everybody know but you. Right. I've been there too. I've been you know there. what I'm saying? Right. Truth of the matter is, I feel bad for because it, I really feel like Somebody on the outside, because the way it looked, let me be real. This looked like Samson and Delilah. <laughs> Somebody took Delilah because they wanted to get at Samson and they used something close to him to get to her. And people don't understand, this ain't about Super and Lou. This is about the everyday life situation where people be closest to you, be the thing to use to embarrass you while they're sitting there falling for it looking stupid. Right. Looking stupid. Right. I agree. 
I can't I can't dispute that. But I can't say this. You know what? I, I, it, she may I, not be innocent. I'm looking at somebody who says she she uh super not innocent. It ain't about being innocent. It's about the simple fact of regardless of what it is, people around you will fall for the stupidest stuff. You got to know your circle and your team. Right. You got to know your circle and your team. Hey man, no first of all, can't nobody sit down and catfish who don't want to be catfished. <laughs> catfish who don't want to be catfished. So you man, got it really nah this, man. This the part that this the part that I, I just don't like. When it came out, it's you know, instead of saying, you know, this is your fault, Lou, or, or coming out and denouncing the fact that he was talking to some 17 year old girl, she made the block she made the blogger Millie the, the the enemy, me, the people who listened to the story, the people who shared this, everybody was the enemy. The girl, the mama, the hair store, all that was the enemy. Everybody was at fault. Nobody was, you know, if, if it's all us with a big conspiracy against her, instead of looking at the one person that the fault was, and that's the only part that I have against her right at this moment. Right. It's Let me address I, one of the comments that said it's different because he entertained a 17-year-old girl. Okay, and to the person who said next caller. I mean, if you don't want to watch what I got to say, that's fine. But anyway, like I said, uh, as far as a 17-year-old girl, y'all dudes, a lot of our cousins, a lot of us were 17 and 18, Messing with the boys we was messing with. See, we forget. We forget. It's easy to forget. And it's easy to say whatever we got to say. All I'm saying is don't act like you can't be in the same shoes. These dudes is messing with little girls. These dudes was messing with us when we was little girls. We were sitting up here plenty of times. Right. I mean, so I, I just think, I just think that the, the, the I want, I, I guess the people speaking from her house up and i think it was a due diligence to not just for her but for the for the for the, you know people we visceral we, we we see what it is and so young women are seeing this allegedly successful black woman and they are emulating that and they're thinking well this is what i have to go through to get to this attain this level of success in life and that's not true so for even for the black women and the, the young black women that do follow her and support her and and use her products i think it goes to say you know could just come out and say well look you know what i denounce this type of activity i don't go, I don't go along with this especially because it could have it could have been somebody who's underage and all this other stuff like that and this is not something that i'm gonna take part in or i agree with a period you know, on no certain saying. Don't just say, oh, it was that blogger and everybody don't like me and I'm blah, 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 and it was shaky and he's supposed to have a receipt. And all, all, you know, she, she went on a tangent and made everybody else, everybody, every single body else that had or something, everybody that reported the story, everybody who posted the story. And, and, and the only thing she got, we got from him was, he's stupid, come take Leah. That's it. That was his, but the, the, the poor girl, she's getting drugged. The, the, if, if it is a girl, she's getting drugged by her people the woman who owned the hair store well, no i blame at the end of the day it's all him it's all him it ain't about it ain't about the young lady it ain't about nobody it's about him because at the end of the day he's supposed to be the one that's loyal and faithful he is supposed to be the one that took an honor to be with this girl and i entertain certain things so at the end of the day it's not about it's not about defending him what i'm saying is it's stupid because i do feel like you sit up here and you allow somebody to bait you in that's a characteristic you already had baby yeah upstairs it's too easy it's too easy you telling me somebody could just write you randomly that's what i'm saying it's too easy it's too simple and it's too you fell for it and embarrassed this, embarrass this girl it's embarrassing it's, it's, she, 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 she embarrassed me. I had a contact of mine. Uh, so yesterday, uh, <laughs> and you know, so I'm not gonna make a secret. Everybody know how I personally feel about her personally. But a contact of mine actually saw her, her black tad in them. There was in TGI Fridays yesterday, um, and you know, you know, millionaires and TGI Fridays. I guess that works. But it's, it, they could tell she she gained in the, she gained in the weight back. Her hair, she had a 27 piece in that looked like a 14 piece. I love y'all. I love y'all too. It was, love y'all too. It was, it was like she love really love doing. She really doing. She really, she really looking like she's going through this, and she looks like she's going through this alone. 
<laughs> okay, Greg, you say he don't want, he may get yeah, this the thing. He may not want her, that's fine. All I'm simply saying is, I guess what I'm trying to say in real, me and you know, because you know we from the same hood. Certain people that's close to us would have sniffed that out and we ain't even super. You mm -hmm. can't, that's what I'm trying to say. Right. You was easily baited in and you know what you connected to. You know, it, it's that simple. Dudes these days, it's so easily baited in behind any kind of cat, any kind, any kind of attention. You sit up here and you look at the dudes, your your old man sometimes be cheating on you for, and you be like, really? Like, for real? Oh, yeah. You be I, like, really? You be looking at the stuff that they fall for, and you be like, that's what you messing with? That's what you, it was that simple? All she had to do was say that? Okay. Like, and you made me jump through these hoops <laughs> to, to be with you? Like, I'm getting the prize, and you out here giving the foolishness and fuckery away for free? Oh, no, you got me messed up. <laughs> no, ain't he didn't brush your head this morning. Ain't he just chilling on the sofa? <laughs> all right. Well, I, now y'all stop talking about that because I ain't do nothing about that. I ain't. I, I ain't worried about it. You. Your father was already cutting up on me. I, I see it. They, it's cool. I ain't worried about it. <laughs> we, we don't really like soup over here. So if anybody come and say she okay, we, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying she okay. All I'm saying is they, I'm saying that they stupid. I'm saying I'm speaking on Lou. I'm, I'm saying that they're stupid and I'm saying that you gotta watch who you have in your circle because they easily baited in and will make you look stupid. That's how a lot of y'all begin jumping. Y'all friends be standing there watching. That's how a lot of y'all be sitting there looking crazy because the people you have around you fall for anything. Anything. Don't, don't do it. The super, the super love you, girl. They just, they just don't like soup. I'm just, yeah. I, can, I can tell you now. They don't like her at all. She don't give yeah. her at She ain't got no chance to help. Yeah. No, love over here. There ain't nobody over here by the crown. Nothing. We ain't buying <laughs> no color. It's just what it, it's just what it is. But yeah. but but they, 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 we love you. How are you feeling? Let me ask you that. You up? You up? You I'm, I'm. I just got up and took my medicine, so I'm waiting for it to kick in. It's off and on. Still in pain, you know. So still need the medicine to function, but I'm better than I was. Thanks everybody, you know, for the love. Thanks everybody for the prayers. Everybody who who know who I am. Thank y'all so much. Y'all yeah. make sure y'all sure follow BC. She talks a lot of good stuff. She talks a lot of... She's a, uh, yeah, a, like, a, like, they, they already did and they, <laughs> didn't, they didn't got rid of me already. I didn't say too much. That sound too too good to us. Super, they didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even like that. I'm, just, I'm so sorry. Two people over here don't yeah. get no I, I'm sorry, two people you don't get no stupid dude ain't get no love. I'm just letting you know. If you come and say, oh, if you, if you gotta. I wasn't speaking, I was speaking on the fact of you got everything that somebody else go through when you talk about it, put yourself in the shoes so you can see why it was like that and make sure it ain't you and to make sure it ain't different. That's all I'm saying. Because you, your old man, your friends, will have you looking out here looking stupid. That's all I'm saying. They will have you out here looking stupid, falling for the stupidest stuff. People will sit there and have a conversation with you and bait your friend in to talk about you. That's how stupid people is to fall for any little thing. Simple explain. That's it. But I'm going. <laughs> okay. Okay, Bye. Baby, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, this is this just real facts. I wish I, I wish it was different. I, no, I don't. I don't. Because <laughs> I would leave Sip Nation anytime we start giving it, which is any love. We ain't putting two drops, no drops in our head, and we ain't putting no coloring books on our mad motherfucking face. That's what the fuck we ain't doing over here. And when we start doing that, bitch, that's the day I refuse to be president. I will step down from office. That's what I'm saying. That's what it is to do there. Yeah, don't get it. But that's our sister BC. Y'all make sure y'all follow. She do. So, she has a lot of great insight on stuff. And in a way, she was actually telling us, right, I mean, we've all been through something. Maybe not this foolish as a fuck over and it didn't get so elaborate, of course. But, and sometimes, we have thus we have thus spooky stuff. So I just wanted to come and um <laughs> yeah, we just not. Um yeah, two drops no top's not good. The only place <laughs> that they need to put the miracle drops is on Hulu dick. Now maybe they'll grow and that's what'll happen, but I don't know. Uh -huh. so who are you, sister? Who are you? I'm about to go, girl. I'm not gonna be on here all day. I just wanted to come tell you what's going on real quick. I just wanted to say, yeah, so they ain't getting no love over here. You coming over here with their love, you ain't, you ain't. <laughs> it was a fun skin with the melted off, okay? Yeah, we're not putting that on. <laughs> the only thing we put, the only thing we use over on our face, 
Candace Owens is a black woman. See what Stop saying? Because she black, you want her to win. And come on. The man plays too much. <laughs> Not no me. But what does that say about sleeping with wine when she let somebody back in her life that would turn her over and shit her face? Like that's so easy. It says that stop supporting the fakeness of them and say listen we're not going to support you we're not going to like your comments we're not going to we're going to unfollow you we're not going to go for what you talk about unless you give us something to live in your truth we'll love you for that you worry about a like but we'll love you for living in your truth that's the, that's the whole point you ask if we live and talk about hey, next i tried to you know who is that and one more person and i got to go girl i got to go Okay, we've seen, I said it was coming the first and second. We're going to have a few cheese. We can take it a bit. Hello? Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm here. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, sweetheart? I just wanted to say that I, I jumped on kind of late, so I don't know what porch I was at, but I, I wanted to say, talk about the 17-year-old the that I, I feel like a lot of people are not realizing that when you that young, however, the ages I know now that's up in the earth and she might be younger than 17 but like whatever her age is like even at 18, 20 when you dating somebody that much older than you they kind of fuck with your mind you know what I'm saying like I've, I've been in that position where I've been I, I might a lot about my age I know a lot of people on here were saying they don't do that but I have before when I was younger I wanted to date older dudes not a lot about my age and it's like for the, the young girl they she was like really trying to protect him you know what i'm saying and at the end of the day whether he was engaged single or not it's just that sick as fuck for you to be talking to somebody that much younger than you i don't care if she was 18 and then she slid back on it and said oh i'm 17 even at 18 like that's sick as fuck like you know what i'm saying and it's nothing that that little girl can offer him why why there's so many grown-ups that you can have sex with you can pay for sex uh, only fans, all this stuff going on. What would make you no, nah, cause I look at me, y'all talking about school back. Mm -mm. <laughs> but but what would make you wanna date somebody that's that fucking young? You flying out, this girl like, oh I got my own car, but I live with my parents. You you in a relationship with a fucking millionaire. Alleged millionaire. You know, so why would you wanna like jump down like to something like that to somebody who is solely dependent on their parents? to take her and them. I don't care if she got like a little job to buy her little extra stuff. She depended on her parents to provide shelter. But I feel like and even with if that was her mom that like released that statement earlier, like she didn't even speak on her daughter. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yo yo child been taken advantage of, explored it, all type of shit. Like that is should be what you stepping out to talk about because this this shit is just I don't know. I just can't get with I, I agree. I agree with you wholeheartedly on a lot of. You made a lot of good points. I like that. But I want to ask a few questions, if you don't mind. Um, okay. You you did mention that you were in a position similar before when you were younger and you were dating older men. Was there ever a situation where you the age differential was were you dating someone as could was old enough to be your father? Did that ever happen? Yeah, yeah. I was really? dating, and you know what? It was crazy because we both lied. So I <laughs> met this guy. I was like, I want to say I was about fifteen or sixteen, right? And I used to catch the bus and like the Boston bus or whatever. I don't know if that's what they call it in your city, but like the the regular bus or whatever. So it was this bus driver that had dreads. He was so fine. And I used to just look at him all the time like, oh, I wanted to talk to him. But of course, I wasn't going to say nothing to him. So one day it wasn't that many people on the bus. He said something to me. I was sitting at the front. We exchanged numbers. He told me that he was like, I was still in all. It was still too old. I was 16. I lied and said I was 18 or 19. He told me that he was 28. Um, we talked for a while and um, I kind of, I had an older cousin that I was real cool with at the time. So I let her know, you know, like I'm talking to this guy and blah, blah, blah. And she kind of was like, you know, telling me like, girl, you know, like he a pedophile, like saying a little shit like that. And I just couldn't see it. I'm like, and cause I, he ended up finding, I forgot, I skipped the part. He ended up finding out how old I was because he took me somewhere and you needed to be 18 to get in. So I was like, all right, well, I'm just tell you the truth, you know, like. That's why I'm going to be wanting to go places with you. He liked to go to, like, nightclubs and stuff. And I was like, because I can't get in, but I always looked older. You know what I'm saying? So I, I would say, like, upon us first meeting, it wasn't his fault. You know what I'm saying? But he did lie and say he was 28, and he ended up being 40. And he had a daughter that was 17. 
So, you know, we were in the same age range and he continued to talk to me. And I found out that he coached a football team and one of my little cousins was on the, the team that he coached. And that's how I ended up finding out his real age. I found out that he was married. Like, he lied about so much shit. And I, I think that older men prey on younger girls because they can manipulate us. What happened to him? Did you call the police? Take no. Him? No, because I, I felt like Why I not? honestly wasn't trying to protect him. It was more so of myself because I knew... That, like, I had went places with him and I was lying to my parents about where I was going. And I felt like, just being naive at the time, I felt like they were going to be more mad at me for the part that I played in it. Now that I'm older, at 29, I, I realized that, yeah, my mom probably would have been mad, but she would have been more pissed that this fucking grown-ass man was, you know, pursuing me. You know what I'm saying? But at that time, I was just so focused on me getting in trouble so about you know the part that i played in it so I, you know i i let it go and, and luckily he never tried anything like quite nothing that i didn't want to do you know what i'm saying and even though that still makes it wrong because i feel like at that age you cannot consent to have sex with a grown man you know what i'm saying but he didn't ever force anything on me if that makes sense but i just think that a, a lot of times our community look at these girls as fast and just say, oh, the, she hot, you know, she fast, or, you know, they doing this and they doing that. But in reality, like, something had to happen to that little girl to make her even want to talk to somebody that's older than her. Like, I don't want to sit on her to your thousand followers and say shit that happened to me, but I, I was fucked up as a kid. And that's why, you know what I'm saying? I was being grown or being fast or whatever and, and, and seeking that attention from somebody that much older than me. My father was killed, you know, and something's going on with her. You know what I mean? You don't just be 16 and be like, I want to talk to somebody that's 40. And she's saying she met him on the, she saw him on the explore page. Bitch, please. Everybody, he, he not known from nothing but super. Like, I don't care about that t-shirt line. Like, all that shit was kissing. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, he, he not known from shit. But if, unless you from they city and you didn't bump into him, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, he is not known from nothing but her. She very much well knew who he was attached to. And I don't care about their relationship being fake or for Instagram or whatever. The the bottom line is not, I feel like what I want people to understand is that stop worrying about that he cheated on Super and let's just focus on the fact that this man is a pedophile. Like, let's, let's we could just really just drop her. <laughs> Like, right. this, this man is we, we, I don't give a fuck. Also, we don't need the mom anymore. We don't need the, the hand. Yeah. We don't need. Yeah, the, all that extra need. shit. Let's just focus on the, the, the real issue is that he a pedophile and that little girl needs some counseling. And because it, it's something going on with her. She like the shit with R. Kelly. Like, everybody, like, why they, why he trying to protect? Why they trying to protect him? It's the same thing. Like, obviously, this little girl is, is brainwashed. And for her to say, that she's still talking to him like something wrong with him. Like, why would you still even be comfortable to communicate with this girl? Like, why, what do you talk about with somebody that's that young? Like, who your who your high school teacher is? Did you miss school? Right. What you had for lunch? <laughs> was, that's crazy what, to me. Like, what Miley Cyrus doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you. I I don't I just don't get that. And I would and she be having her nieces and stuff at her house. His his fiance be having her nieces and shit at her. I just couldn't trust that. Like, right. Cause if you if you fucked with her, somebody just slid in your DMs. You done did this before. This isn't this isn't your first rodeo. You you done this before. I know. Like, I saw that. I heard. I saw, I felt that when he was asking about the virginity and stuff. I said, Oh yeah, man, this some stuff. You you got this. You, you got this. Doc, you know this 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 what you. I I wouldn't know what to say. Somebody, I, I, wouldn't, I don't even think about what to say. If uh, somebody who's 14 or something, 16, 17, come tell me something, I don't even know what, I don't think about what to say. I don't right. even know what to I wouldn't know, I don't even know what to I wouldn't even, that's not, I wouldn't even cross my, it would be like, oh, child, for real? Okay, good, block. Right. <laughs> we we'll, we'll talk to your mom in there. Yeah. Thought, it's, it's, <laughs> that's some sick ass shit. And that's why I said, like, baby girl was just trying to, like, talk in circles a little bit so she didn't really tap on you know, too much, and she, oh, well, it was something I wanted to say, but I'm not gonna say, like, I felt like she was just trying to, like, protect him, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, you, in reality, that's, that's the sad part, because she needs protecting, right. like, somebody needs to protect her, it's, it's, and she, like, oh, people dragging me, I, I feel like nobody should be dragging her, because right. she a kid, you know what I'm saying, like, and I know that she did grown woman shit, but if anything, drag her mama. You know what I'm saying? Like something, mm -hmm. something is going on in that household for <laughs> her to be comfortable to do the shit that she's doing. Something's going on with Lou 
to make him comfortable to right. want to ask a fucking 17 year old about when they lost their virginity like you are a sick fucking bastard like <laughs> on some real shit there's nothing that that little girl could i don't give a fuck what she did on the video <laughs> nothing that she should do be able to do that to to make your dick jump ever right. like that that's some sick ass shit it's too many people out here that's having sex for 40 dollars you could you could even you could even get it for free like you could just slide <laughs> in somebody you know what i'm saying it's people out here that would just fuck him just because he belonged to super you ain't gotta go that route. Like you, he got some deep rooted issues, and he has most definitely done that shit before. Right. Like, all right. So I, I appreciate you for stopping by and giving us uh, your insight and your opinion. To, they say uh, I sound like the voice. <laughs> no, I, I, no, 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 no. She said, he, no, I, I don't know what he's talking about. But uh, yeah, so thank you again for um, stopping. Where you from, Max? When, when I'm you, from St. Louis. St. Louis. I'm St. Louis in the house. I, shout out yeah. to St. Louis. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate your insight into. Uh, no problem. All right. No all problem. Right. So, all right, so, um, I can't do $40, baby. What you talking about? All right, so, um, I was a doctor, too. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, I talked about my book. I was eating, child. But I was eating boys around my age. I wasn't, I, I never did, like, I don't know what like, you know, older than me like that. Uh, I, did I, well, Mike was older than me. Mike was, like, two or three years old. So I take it there. Um, so what was I? I lost my train of thought. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take one more call and say y'all <laughs> actually didn't. Uh, let's oh, okay. Let's see. Who is this? I want to see. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Who is this? One more call, y'all. One more call. Let me go. <laughs> one more call. Let me go. Because I just came to talk. We ain't gonna turn this into like, one more caller. And then we just go. Well, I gotta go. I'm hungry. I ain't, I ain't even hungry. I don't even know what's up, my girl. I am hungry. This is not so much I think. <laughs> I was attracted to older men myself. My baby daddy was 22. I was 17. Okay. 22, 17, that's it's still in the same like range. He's 33. <laughs> ain't the person sticking up for me? I'm ignoring y'all. What am I ignoring about y'all? What are y'all talking about? I'm not ignoring anything. It's a lot of comments going pay, sister. I can't read every last one of them. <laughs> 30 percent promo code catfish. Let me find out why. Hello. I'm coming. Hello. What's up, bitch? What's going on? What's up, Shaggy? I'm cool. How you doing? You know, this whole situation is pretty complex when you talk about it. Because like in high school, like when the girls at my high school, they was dating older niggas. Okay. Like, they was in college. Right. I'm talking, you know what I'm saying? So we can't, we can't. Older, just because a girl is 19 and she's dating a 32-year-old doesn't make it okay because she's two years older than 17. You right. know what I'm saying? We go by law. You know okay. what I'm saying? If they call the police on Lou, nothing's going to happen. Okay. So we're sitting up here calling him a pedophile, but technically on paper, he's not a pedophile. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We just don't like the situation and how it's how it's been done. We can't judge people like that. You feel what I'm saying? The the whole moral of this thing is that you shouldn't have been cheating on people. Period. Uh, agreed in some parts. But yes, we can judge this morally. And let me tell you why. When when Supercent decided to open her life publicly and to ask for us as Black people and stuff to support her business ventures, her page, and her life, basically financing her lifestyle. Her lifestyle is built, that's inviting us into her life. Point blank, period. She asked us, here, support my products, buy the palette, do this here, blah, I'm going to be speaking over here. And uh, Once you do that, you're right. inviting people's, not only their money, but you're inviting their insight into your life. When she decided to share him with us, that was also taking him a part of the life. There's a certain degree of pri privacy that you don't have anymore because you're electing to take our finances for your privacy. That's the trade off there. Right. So that comes with a certain degree of morality. So in so like you saying you say okay yes we just gotta keep it legal and whatever the legal the law says that's what it is he wasn't good but also too as black people supporting black people we do have we do have a right to say 
especially if you've ever bought a pallet or whatever. I have done this for my child before. My daughter, I have, bought, I have, I could show you, you supported some. before. I have supported before. I've also promoted for her before when we was okay. So, so I, I think I have a right. And you, you, if you ever bought some sip cosmetics, I have a right and obligation to you to be morally and ethically of a certain degree to what it is. You not, if I don't uphold to that standard, you have a right to call me on that. So in the right. case of him, it, you might be right. It might be legal. It might be lawful. She's 17. The, the mama says she, he's, she's younger than 17. But if she told him at 17, morally speaking, I have a right. My ticket in was saying, listen, I've supported you. I like to comment. I've invested in your life. We are, as the old, as the meme says, we are season six, part, episode three of your life. We're in this together now. <laughs> I'm, you know, and so with the, with that being said, it's like you know, you you can't say, oh, well, it's, yes, I can say, I can yeah. say, yeah, it, it might not be, it might be legal law wise, but in these laws that we're talking about when it comes to support, guess what? I have a right to say this now. You want to you want to support somebody who's gonna who's gonna uphold a great image for the black woman for for what she got going on. There, there are several teenagers that I I, my now. daughter is my daughter is nineteen. When I bought that from her, it was two years ago. Uh, right. So she was 17 at the time. So this is a 17 year old girl looking up to you, right? So well, how I many? Would, I would I wouldn't necessarily look at her relationship uh, situation and and say that my child can't look up to her. You know what I'm saying? I the whole th what I'm mad about is that these niggas be getting females like this who are actually doing something with their lives and they just throw it away. I can name. I'm not gonna name other people I know, but I know other known personalities and I know that their dude are cheating on them. Name them. Why and, your own name? You scared of them? Huh? Why you don't name them? You scared of them? Well the person is a personal friend of mine. So I would I wouldn't want to put and I know if I drop the name right now, you're alive, like it's gonna go straight to them. Like somebody that knows her. But anyway, I'm gonna just say it's a famous uh, DM it to me. I would like to know. I ain't gonna tell nobody. I'm just I'm gonna tell you the DM. And then maybe we can talk about this story. <laughs> but, but but I know if I say the person, y'all gonna know the nigga that cheats on her all the time, like because he being he being all the trans women uh, DMs. Okay. Any, anyway, that was a clue. But okay. anyway, um, boom, you know, like you get these women and they have money and they have businesses and they have they got good things going on and y'all motherfuckers don't do shit but just be in their lives. Like if I was new. I would have been built the empire. Like, I'd have built something that was bigger than a super just to show her, like, I'm not just no nigga just sitting around. You feel what I'm saying? These niggas be getting handouts and they just be cheating on these, on these uh, females. And it's but, like, it's, but, it's crazy. But you know, but you do know Lou is a dummy, right? You, you know that, right? Do you know what? Know? He's a dummy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Have you ever heard him talk? <laughs> He's a dummy. He's not no, he can't build, he ain't build no empire. He can't think past stop, let alone go. He's a dummy. He, he, how, you don't, how you don't get this right? You have a, you have a rich bitch with low self-esteem in your hand. What, how you don't get that right? That's the easiest to do. You just got to go smile for the camera sometimes and you fuck that up consistently. How the fuck you get? Quick, so he, quick, obviously he's a dummy. He's a big dummy. That's, quick, quick story. I'm not going to tell you who it was, but I'm going to tell you the situation real quick because you're going to like this piece. Why would you bring the chick you fuck with in front your old lady house? More importantly, why would you bring her over there knowing that she's about to come home? I don't know. Why would you? Did, who did that? Hmm. Queen of Bones. Afraid did it? Like, why would you... Why would you cheat on somebody who's basically on top of the game? Like, I just don't understand. Like, people get with people for different reasons, right? Women get with different men because they work hard and they got jobs and all that. If you got a bitch that work hard and that's getting that people, I just don't understand how you don't take advantage of that. Like, mm -hmm. I just don't understand. Where are you from, baby? From here. New Orleans. Now you are. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just a different breed. No, I just, I just, I just, you, you say that like I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to. I don't necessarily, I don't. Your, your face is vaguely familiar, but I don't necessarily. Do I know you? We've been in the same circle before. Like we've been in the same like, inter, like we have a lot of associate friends. Gotcha. I come from the same group named the Outsiders. We were pretty. We were, we made a little something, a little name before in the city. You know, yeah. we were signed to Extreme, same label as Courtney Hart. 
rant season was on. You know, I didn't have my run, but gotcha. But yeah, I'm done. I'm just I'm behind the scenes now, and I'm uh, actually about to get into uh, interviewing celebrities. So, like, this is why I followed you because I know you kind of do the same thing as far as blogging and yeah. whatever. So I'm just yeah. gaining that knowledge from you. That's all. Appreciate it. Um, uh, okay. so, so let me tell you something. Well, if you if you from our city, let me tell you something. You know one thing about Miss 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 Miss, 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 Miss Ross. And I'm gonna say this: I've been known Miss Ross for uh, since a long time. Uh, and Frida deserves better. Is no, I, I'm not finished today. No, it's not first. I said Frida is is could, could eat. <laughs> is what I said. Frida is she. You know she like I. I'm, I never said Frida was no saint. She does. Oh no no. Oh no. I know. I already know. But you know what Devin led us to believe is that basically what Super doing with Lou is kind of what Frida does with Devin. Like this is all for show. Frida. Frida, Frida always was a girl to eat. For me to see her like settle down, like when I say eat, when we say eat, we mean she going around, she getting her, she's snacking, she's going to get her a snack. So for my me to opinion, see, I have to have, in my opinion, I think she has the right to do because of how she get treated. But at the same time, I don't think you should stay with somebody if you if it's going to be like that, where y'all got to just be cheating on each other. But, don't, but don't don't Dev, don't. Devin told a girl that he was cheating with that this is all for show, that she controls him with money. And the 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 and and a lifestyle she controls it with that lifestyle just so the cameras could see her having a relationship. I don't think she's as innocent as people make it out to be. I'm not getting into, like I'm not going to turn this into like a Frida thing, but this is what this is, and I I find that kind of believable. Like she do her thing, he do his thing, but when the cameras on, they love it w. And so what happens is what upsets them only is when the blogs pick up on whatever they're doing outside the thing. That's the only thing that, you ever see. Super set only a super set attack people. She don't really attack people about the makeup no more. She don't attack people about when people talk bad about the makeup. People talking this that, and the other. But let them talk about the the facts that they're the the facts the truths about their relationship. She attacked them people with a vengeance. The same thing here with 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 the, with the lady you talking about. It's like yeah. when it, when you talk, talk about their their relationships. Oh, you can talk about her music. You can talk about the fact that she hasn't made a hit song in so long, and that she thought she was gonna do the right thing by crossing over, and it was a failure. She don't care. But let you talk about the fact that her the the tenacity or the, the mechanics of her relationship, and it becomes a whole different thing. So yeah, it's it's yeah. like it's like it's just. Uh, it's, uh, uh. Uh, uh, Frida, Frida, both of them, really. But I was talking about Frida in that instance. But it's both of them. So well, the, I can tell you, like, as 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 like knowing Frida, like honestly, I could tell you that as of late, she don't deserve what he did. You know what I'm saying? Putting it through, and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she really just focused on her business now, and nobody's perfect. None of us perfect. I know I'm not perfect. This when I was like what 26, I was dating a 19 year old. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? I'm not proud of that because actually a young person can't do nothing for me. And it took me a minute to realize that that I needed to start dating people my age. You know what I'm saying? But then again, you get people your age and they be stupid too. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no matter, age doesn't define whether you're going to be loyal to someone or not. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what age you is. If you're disloyal, you're disloyal. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I just made 34 actually. And I just came out on my birthday as parents are. Came out. Mm-hmm. Congratulations for coming out. I thought it was time. I didn't want to wait. So, who you were hiding from? Who you was in the closet from? I mean, I wasn't. I wasn't really hiding. I didn't really care too much, but people didn't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to keep living my life and not and no one not know. I want the world to know. And you what know does what pa- pa- and what does pansexual mean for? Meaning for that me? I really don't have no. Uh, Gender uh, preference. It's just I love from like whoever you are. If you if you got a great vibe, and I love and like I fall in love with you, that's it. Like it doesn't matter what you got down there. Gotcha. So been there every time. You like it? I love it. Congratulations. Come on. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we do have a lot of uh, associate friends. Okay. And I say associates because I use that word <laughs> carefully. Name one. Uh, who else? You know Carl? What Carl? Carl J. Black? Um, no. He be rapping, bounce rapper, bounce rapper. Never heard of him. 
who else? There's a couple of people I see on your page too. I got you never saw him on my page, and if you do, I'm going to go delete everything no, that was ever. Not <laughs> oh, <laughs> never saw. Me. <laughs> no, not him. Just, just know. a couple of people. I don't know who Curl is. I've never heard of him before. I, not the porn star. Are you talking about the porn star? The only no. fan, yeah, he's, he's, that's the only curl I know. The one that who 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 booted, who booted, who be busting the booty hole open so far, it be looking like a hole in the wall. But that's a whole other thing for a whole other day. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I'm a um, I'm a singer. I'm a sing you some of my music or whatever. Okay, I'll check it out. Um, and also send the tea in my desk too. The one whoever who's the, I want to know that too. So. I got thank you. you. I'm gonna run the whole story down. To you. I appreciate you, little brother. Uh, right. thank you for stopping by. Thank you for having me on. Okay. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know. I don't know these people. I don't know them. I'm shaking. <laughs> I don't know these people. Um, what do I want to say? Uh, where do we want to go? I just that took me left all the way left. Uh, okay, so look, check it out. That was the recap. That was it. I said we could stick the book on it. Uh, I, you know, I had to put my earphones on. I couldn't hear me either. Uh, oh, let's see. Okay. Who that is? Somebody is. <laughs> no, he wasn't flirting with me. Girl, he like Freddy girl. You know he like Freddy girl. <laughs> he like he like him some Freddy girl. We started that fish. Somebody he just came out, girl. He just came out, girl. You didn't have to girl, we do. Hello. Hi, Pookie. Hey, so how you doing? What's going on? Okay, so this is the update that I got for everybody who don't know. So, the Nicole, the mother, she just posted on her Instagram that she is now seeking legal action because the Instagram page was given to her daughter by this ex the Harris, who used to work for Shane. She was basically saying that um, she's calling you, um, um, the the blogger, and Super and everybody victims, and that she's going to file a suit against this woman, Yolanda Harris, for making this page and causing all of this havoc. She posted it on her Instagram story. Here's my thing, right? What is the motive? That's my whole question. What is the motive? Like, who just wakes up one day and decide I'm gonna make this whole catfish page with this this person and I personally think the mother did it. Okay. That's my that's my opinion. Because here's the thing. You went from apologizing on behalf of your daughter to then right. oh friends that I'm late. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know y'all knew about this. But she basically wants to <laughs> apologize for her daughter. What, what so time? Now, let, me, let me ask something. What, okay. What's going on, Pooh Reddy? I didn't see you. Uh, sister, how you doing, Pooh Pooh Reddy? Um, so listen, what what's going on your I'm sorry. My, my, Say that one more time. I couldn't hear you. What, what time zone are you at? I'm sorry. What time? What you in Central Time? I'm in... I'm in I'm in Jersey, okay. so we. I think oh, we're like all at the same time. So, but I just, I'm in, I'm in class right now, so I've just been trying to keep dodging in and out, in and out, you know, because it's been really like on my heart. Because as a person who has been molested and who has been in in those situations, this shit is, this not, should not cool. Not, um, so it's about one o'clock there. We've known about ten o'clock your time that the woman said that we were innocent. Like, we know that about ten o'clock. Your so, but that's okay. Thank yeah. you. So I appreciate you for coming. So here. I'm just on phone game. I appreciate you, Skip Nation. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We only got like a minute left, so I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for stopping okay. by and letting us know what was going on. See, I love you. Stay safe out there, my baby. All right, baby. Yeah. All right. So, so check it out. We only got a minute left. You hear me? I love y'all. I did not come to plan to be out here for the whole hour with y'all, but it's been a very interesting uh, a little hour. Uh, if y'all looking for the videos, they are on YouTube from earlier today, and this one will definitely go on YouTube too. So I love y'all, and I will talk to y'all another time. Goodbye, y'all.